back to the channel as always this is your host mellow and you probably noticed something a little little out of place something a little different you're gonna notice this hairy rug that's kind of populating my face I'm growing this because we're gonna be working on a little project in the background and won't be done anytime soon but I gotta get into character hence why you're seeing this enjoy it while you can this is probably the hairiest I'm gonna let anyone see me I'm getting a little off topic for today's video. I do have something pretty exciting that I'll, I want to share with all of you out there. It's another product review, overview. To me, it's going to be something that's going to go ahead and elevate your gaming and your post-production needs with an emphasis on elevate. Enough talk, let's just jump right into it. Welcome back and stay tuned for your video. Have you ever purchased a monitor when you got it, the stand just wasn't quite to your standards? Maybe it was a little small or a little puny. Maybe when you had it fully set up, you didn't exactly get eye level to it. Well, that's where this next product comes in. It's taking our monitors to new heights per se. The new product I'm talking about is the Single Monitor Desk Stand by H. Huan. Now when it comes to the H Huan monitor mount, the H the H1 monitor mount, they should have called it that. When it comes to the H1 monitor mount, it's a single monitor mount. And from at least what I can tell, it's a fully aluminum build, meaning it's gonna be strong, robust, and heavy duty. When it comes to the, the weight of the actual product, it comes in at about 6.45 pounds, but can support the weight of about 17.6 if you have a heavier set monitor. Speaking of monitors, when it comes to the sizing that it can support, it can support anywhere from 17 to 32 inches measured diagonally. That's going to mount to the monitor through the backside via a standard VESA mount, so you want to make sure, at least if you decide to go with this one, that your, your monitor will be a 75 by 75 or 100 by 100 VESA mount. The monitor can be adjusted in four areas, starting right there at the VESA mount. That will allow you to do a whole 360 rotation. So depending on how you wanna orientate your monitor, you can set it up landscape or portrait, depending on your preference. The next segment will allow you to tilt the monitor, going up and down, left and right. And when you take it the next step further, that's gonna allow you to adjust the height of the monitor via that spring mount. Now the height can extend as high as 6.2 inches and can extend as far as 20 inches, which does give you a lot of real estate room to work off of. Finally, at its base, that's where it'll allow you to do, again, a whole 360 motion to orientate it to your likings. When it comes to the mount, it does include all the accessories needed, including the mounting type, which are two of them. They give you the C-clamp, which as you may know, I'm a big fan of. I always use those for a more temporary solution while still being secure. And they give you the grommet mount if you don't mind drilling a hole into your desk if it doesn't already have one. The tension of the arms can be adjusted as well. So if you want something that's going to move around smoother, or be tied down, not offer so much jitter, that can be adjusted to your likings. Also included in the packaging, you do have these plastic plates that snap onto the monitor's arms that allow you to hide your cables so it's a little bit more flush, giving you a cleaner look. Now I had made a little mention of the gas springed arms. Word to the wise, when you open the packaging, if you decide to go with this monitor mount, be extremely careful about breaking the seal that keeps the monitor arm compressed because the moment you break it, the arm just kind of comes lunging right at you at like <laughs> So you don't want that anywhere near the realms of your face or your body where you're going to get like a bad, you're going to have a bad day. Let's just say that. So the reason I went with this monitor mount 
if you've seen my previous video where I talk about my gaming center, it's not necessarily a gaming center. It's a small cabinet that you fill with like books and movies. My spacing here is limited and I'm always trying to open up as much space as possible. So not having that monitor there, the, the stand rather, it's opening up a little bit more real estate for my needs. So I have more room to work off of. It just feels a little bit more spacious. With all that's been said and done, I'm definitely a lot more happier with this purchase. I feel like this item can integrate to a lot of people's lifestyle, whether you're someone that's gonna be gaming, video editing, or if you're doing something simpler in terms of just webcam conferences. Now the H Huan single monitor mount at the time of filming this video comes in at about the price of $29. Now I'd like to just put this out there. I was fortunate enough to snag it when it was at a lightning deal on Amazon. So I did get it at a discounted price point. If it's not discounted and it's back to its regular price, be on the lookout because that one does seem to fluctuate a lot. So you're always gonna be able to snag it if you miss it out on that day. If you decide to go with that monitor, look in the description of this video or i'll have it somewhere like here or here i made a video of me constructing the monitor mount so if you're someone that wants to like watch a video follow along with someone build it you will have that in my channel just to give you a little bit of assistance with constructing your monitor so be on the lookout for that a little later down the road but beyond that Hey, it's been another fun video. I always like making these type of videos. Hopefully you're all enjoying them on the other side as well. Let me know, but as always, this has been Mellow and you all enjoy the rest of your day. Take care and we'll see you for the next one. I don't know, I felt like today's video was a little off. Was I being a little bit more forceful? Did I look a little bit more meaner? I think it's, oh my God. The beard's changing me.